Hey everybody, what is up? Tonight we are making a ground beef and cabbage stir fry. Not just cabbage, there's other veggies in there too, but this is a quick meal that we need uh, every once in a while. We gotta do a quick meal, right? So tonight we have a band concert that we need to go to, so quick meal night. I've got my pan here heating over medium heat. I'm gonna throw my ground beef in there. I've already prepped my veggies. So I'll let you guys know what those are. I have one head of small, like small head of cabbage that I've shredded up just using my uh, food processor. And then I have one carrot in here and about half a cup to a cup of broccoli florets that I just did the same thing to. And then one zucchini that I made into like half moons. So we're gonna brown this ground beef, drain the grease, take the beef out put it aside for a little bit and then we're gonna leave like one or two uh, tablespoons of the beef grease in there and we're gonna cook up our broccoli and carrots first, then we're gonna throw in our cabbage, then we're gonna throw in our zucchini, then we'll add our meat back in. So I'm gonna cook this up and then I'll be back when I start throwing things into a pan. See you in a few. All right, my beef is out right here. I left about two tablespoons of the beef grease in the pan and it's just heating. We're going to throw in, oh I need my ginger, we're going to throw in some garlic and we're going to grate some ginger in the pan and we're just going to cook that a couple of minutes until it's fragrant. Hello people. And a little trick I always tell everyone, if you're gonna grate ginger, you keep it in the freezer. Like peel it when you buy it, and then keep it in the freezer because when you grate it, you don't get all those little fibrous strings. Fibrous. Huh? Fibrous delicious. Fibrous strings stuck in your little grater. But when you're grating it over, when you're grating it over a hot pan, you gotta do it quick because it's gonna start to defrost. So we're going to do a good amount of ginger. Again, that's to your taste. I love ginger, so I'm putting a decent amount in there. We're just going to cook that a minute or so until uh, it gets fragrant. And then we're going to throw in our veggies, some of our veggies. All right. Ooh. There we go. Already smells really good. Okay, so we're gonna throw in our broccoli and our carrots and our zucchini. So don't listen to what I said before when I said we're gonna wait on the zucchini. Because we're not, we're gonna put it in right now. If all this stuff wants to get unstuck from my mixer here. Alright, there's that. Zucchini. We're just going to cook this for a couple minutes until the veggies start to soften. You don't want them too soft because we still have to throw in our cabbage and cook that down. So I'm going to give this a minute or two to cook. Then I'm going to throw the cabbage in and cook that until it's wilting down. Then I'll be back to show you the sauce and finishing out the dish. All right, my cabbage has cooked down nicely. I had to do it in a few batches because I had so much. You don't have to use the full head of cabbage, but since there's no carbohydrate in here, we're just gonna add a few extra veggies to keep it more filling. So now we're gonna add our beef back in. And then three tablespoons of soy sauce. Again, I don't really measure, I just kinda go. And then you can always adjust it if it's not enough. You can also add a little more. So you can always just estimate. And then we're going to do about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And that's it. We're just going to stir it up, mix it around, let it heat through, let that beef heat back through, and then just serve it topped with some chopped green onions. And that's it. So thank you guys for joining me on another episode of What's Cooking. And I ask that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and these videos to show your love and support so I can keep making more. 
and giving you healthy recipes for you and your family. And if you guys are over on Instagram checking this out, make sure you head to my profile. Follow me over there so you don't miss an episode. And if you want any of my recipes, the link is always below the video in the description to my website. And that's where all of my recipes are posted. Plus some that I haven't done videos for. So make sure you guys check those out. So again, thank you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.